Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Canadian Workshop. Recently I made a video, I'll leave a link in the description and a card here somewhere, on how to make a jig for a drill press uh, to be able to drill repeatable holes in corners of materials. And after making that video and using the, uh, the jig for a bit, I realized there's a limitation to the jig and I need to make a modification to it. I'll show you what's going on. So the problem that I've noticed with the jig is I cut it to have uh, more space here on the right hand side but what I didn't realize at the time is that there'd be a limitation for this piece you can't go any further than this so then you're uh, you can't drill a hole any closer to the corner than what I have here and it looks to be about maybe an inch and three quarters two inches maybe at most and if for this project I need to drill a hole here half inch from the corner so what I need to do I have two options one is I put a piece of scrap wood here in order to reference to every time. So the, the front to back is good, but it's the side to side that I don't have a reference. So I need to figure out something for here. And I think I've got just the solution. What I'm going to do for, for that section is I'm going to add a threaded insert into this piece here. And what I'll do is I'll have a, a bolt longer than this one, but I'm using this as an example. I'll have a bolt that's going to thread into the threaded insert and stick out. And it's going to allow me to bring the bolt out or in to make up the difference here. So then the piece will reference up against the back fence and then it'll reference up against the head of the bolt as a stop. So it'll be micro adjustments as well because I'll be able to thread the bolt in just a little bit of the time to go forward and backwards. Now, if I wanted to as well, I could add in a nut here so I could lock the bolt into place, but I don't think there'll be enough movement in here that it'll affect the, the hole placement that much. So what we'll do is uh, I'll measure out center, I'll drill out a hole, then I'll put in a threaded insert, and we should be good. So there we go. Now, uh, by adding a threaded insert and a bolt here, I can make repeatable cuts by using the back fence as a stop, and this bolt as a stop, and I can move this in and out to make micro adjustments as I need to. And when I go to cut the next hole, I butt up against at the same spot. The other side, it's at the same spot as well. The other side, it'll be the exact distance from each side, from one board to the next. Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't seen the video of making this, uh, this jig for the drill press, I'll leave a link in the description below or a card somewhere so you can go take a look at it. And if you do decide to make one, that micro adjustment is, uh, is a great add-on for this jig. So thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any of my upcoming videos. We'll see you on the next one.